we come to you before you today. <clears throat> we are in expectation that you are going to change us. We are in expectation that we will not be the same people <clears throat> we were when we came. Because no one can come into your presence and remain the same. So we are here with expectation. It's when Jesus was on the earth and they said that they pressed upon him to hear the word. We have come also to press upon you to hear your word. In the name of Jesus. Bless your children, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Bless them with understanding. Let their eyes open. Let their ears open. Let their heart understand what you have for them today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, he said that looking unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of finisher of our faith. The life of faith you want to live, Jesus is already in When we said that the, the, there is the, when you read a book and you say that the book has an author, 
He, he's the one who wrote it. So the Bible says that Jesus is the author of faith. If you want to be a, a man or woman of faith, you need to look at Jesus. He said that he authored the faith, but he also perfected it. Jesus made his life so simple. All you need is to look at him. Amen. It's okay when people are quiet, it means that they are listening. Yes. This is the Bible class, is that right? Yes. I want to tell you that the king is coming. Yes. We have entered an era where now the message is going to be about the coming king. Where we are not going to preach the gospel of Christ, but we are going to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Which means that the time of the end has come upon us. So I want to talk about the end time church. The church that is going to preach the gospel of the kingdom. For centuries we have preached the gospel of salvation. We have focused on getting people saved. But yet now we are going to preach Jesus and Jesus alone. Because you see, that's the gospel that can be, that Jesus said that this gospel shall be preached to all the world and then the end will Let's go to the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 14. Okay, can you uh can you read it for You the moja Lango You the moja and stand up in the Nagenoko unto a saba bada yadam Alito Maneno ya unabi ya how akisema Angalia Bwana Alipuja na watakati wat Mael Mael Ili afanya hukumu juu ya watu wote na kuadhibisha wote wasio mcha Mungu kwa ajili ya kid kwa ajili ya kazi zao zote za upotevu walizozitenda bila kumcha Mungu na kwa ajili ya maneno magumu yote ambayo hao wenye dhambi wasio mcha Mungu wameanena juu yake watu hawa ni Wenye kumunika, wenye kulalamika, waendao katamaa zao, na vinyo vyao ya nena maneno makuu mno ya kiburi. Wakipendelea watu wenye cheo kwa ajili ya faida. Kumina saba. Bali nini? Amen. And he says this, And Enoch, also the servant from Adam, prophesied of this saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they are ungodly committed, and of their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, 
and their mouth speaks great swelling words, helping men admiration, in admiration because of attention. <clears throat> First, I want to get your attention. You see, sometimes when they translate, they say they translate it from maybe Hebrew and Greek to Swahili or English. Sometimes they make a mistake. And because of one simple mistake, for hundreds and hundreds of years, we can have the wrong belief and doctrine. It can be a mistake in how we see the scriptures. Here we have a simple mistake and yet it has caused so many problems. And they made that mistake in, in, in English and also they made the same mistake in Swahili. My Swahili is, is very small. But yet I could understand when you were reading that there was the same mistake they made in English. Here it says that the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints. And so he has caused us to he has caused us to believe, to, to be looking in the sky for the Lord coming with his saints. But actually in the original language, it says that the Lord is coming in, in ten thousands of his saints. He's not coming with, he's coming inside ten thousands of his saints. It makes all the difference. We think that Jesus is coming. There will be a time when he comes and every eye will see him. But first, before he comes like that, he first will come through his saints. He's coming through you because he is already in you. While most people are looking, saying, Where is Jesus coming from the skies? Jesus is saying, I'm coming inside 10,000 of myself. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians in verse 1, I mean chapter 1 and verse 10. Chapter 1 and verse 10. Yeye atakapo kuja ili kutukuzwa katika watakatifu wake na kustajabiwa katika wote walio sadiki katika siku ile kwa sababu ushuhuda wetu ulisadikiwa kwenu 11 yeye atakapokuja ili kutukuzwa katika watakatifu wake na kustajabiwa katika wote walio sadiki katika siku ile kwa sababu ushuhuda wetu ulisadikiwa kwenu now is the word katika and the word dani is that is that similar eh neno katika na na dani ni inakuwa nani Together. Together. Inside. You see? 
hear what he says. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that we could have read starting from verse 7. So I'll just quickly read to, to show you how these scriptures they're all saying the same thing. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his Father, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints. You see, the time now has come where you might have waited and said, God, where are you? When are you going to vindicate me? Because we have come in a time where people are always complaining about the church. And they be saying, ah, where is their power? And you are saying, God, where are you? God has been very quiet. That he's about to come in his saints. And when he comes, he will come to punish those that speak nonsense. You are about to see again the same thing that happened in the book of Acts. He said that the Bible says that no one dare to join himself to the church. But they're all magnified. Because in the early church, even when you lied about offering, you drop dead. When, when somebody lied about an offering, they died. You remember the story of uh, Ananias and Sapphira? Mm -hmm. When they sold their field and brought and lied about their offering. What happened to them? They die. You are about to see that again. No one is going to play around with the church again. The Lord is coming in His saints to punish. For so long, people have seen the church as, as nice people. They are about to see the church that, that, that does not play around. Because the Lord is about to restore the fear of God in, in the church. Amen. Both were what Enoch prophesied in the book of Jude and what they are saying in the book of Thessalonians. It, they both talk about Jesus coming in his saints, but to deal with unbelievers and those who speak against the church. That's why I said that he's coming to be glorified in the saints. Because now unbelievers are going to see you as you ought to be. Yes. When they open their mouth to, to talk nonsense, their mouth will remain open. They are about to know that God is alive. Yeah. You see, one of the works of the Holy Spirit is not always giving life. There is a time He comes to destroy. Mm. To destroy evil. Coming in ten thousands of his saints. 
maelfu kumi ya watakatifu and people are going to experience again the ministry of Jesus na watu wanaenda tena tunaenda tena kuhisi tena huduma ya Yesu it will be Jesus among his people doing the same things he did and even prayer works. Atakuwa Yesu ndani ya watu wake wakifanya mambo makubwa makubwa. So stop looking in the sky. Sasa tuache kutazamia anga. Start to expect that Jesus in you to arise at the line of the travel. Amen. Tuanze kutazamia Yesu ndani wetu. We have known the church as the church of the Lamb of God. Tumejua kanisa kama kanisa la eh mwana kondoa. We are about to know the church of the Lamb of the tribe of Judah. Tuko karibu kuona kanisa ya 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 eh Simba wa kabila la Yuda. Amen. Amen. Let's start from my interpretation. But what does this end time church look like? <clears throat> Jesus said that when the son of man comes will he find faith in the earth? Yesu akisema mwana mwana wa damu akija atapata imani katika ulimwengu ama katika kanisa? It's a time where faith will be challenged. Hapo ndio wakati imani yako itapewa changamoto. He also says that because of the time that are coming the love of men will grow cold. Anasema pia hiyo wakati ambao atakuwa anakuja upendo wa watu wengi utapoa. But also this time when he's, he's coming to be glorified in his saints. Hata wakati huo anapokuja kujitukuza ndani ya watu watakatifu wake. It's a time also that is mentioned in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Ni wakati pia ambao imetambulika katika Isaya 60. What is that that arise and shine for your light has come. Hapo inasema kwamba inuka na uangazi maana nuru yako imekuja. And again he said that the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Aikasema kwamba tuna utukufu wa Mungu uko juu yako. When you were filled the Holy Spirit and the Spirit entered you now the, the Spirit is about to come out and show himself. Ukijaza na Roho Mtakatifu aingie ndani. Sasa Roho Mtakatifu anatoka na ku He first comes in to come and prepare you but soon he's going to come up for you to show to the world who you are. Anakuja kwanza kuandaa alafu anatoka kuonesha ulimwengu wewe ni But Jesus said something that is very important. Yesu akasema kitu ambacho ni cha maana sana. He said that I, I say unto you all, watch. Akasema kwamba nawaambia nyinyi wote, mtazame. Muangalie. The end time church it's a watchman church. Kanisa la mwisho It's a church of watchmen. Itakuwa kanisa la mwisho ni kanisa la watu wa wa kuangalia. And in the book of Isaiah in the book of Isaiah he said that I have sent watchmen upon Jerusalem. Katika kitabu cha Isaya anasema kwamba nimeweka walinzi katika Yerusalemu. Who would not keep quiet day and night? Ambao hawatanyamaza usiku na mchana. It's a church that is going to pray day and night. Yes. usiku na mchana. It is also a church that is going to be so committed to the word of God. Ni kanisa pia ambalo litajitahidi sana katika neno la Mungu. In the book of Acts chapter 6, he said that the apostles said that we will give ourselves continually to the word and prayer. Matendo ya mitume 6 inasema kwamba tutajiweka katika neno la Mungu katika kuomba. When the church started, kanisa lipoanza, the way they will measure growth, jinsi vile ilikuwa inakuwa ina, ina, The, the Bible says that there were multitudes added to the church. But then they say something very important. The war of the law increased mightily. We need to start to measure the growth by seeing how the war of God is taking possession of our land. How much of the word of God that is in you? If I said that I'm taking your Bibles away, and I take away your Bible apps, how much of the word of God will it be in you? 
Can I call you a walking, talking Bible? Mm. Can you go for a month without touching the Bible? And yet, if a person asks you a question, you can talk the Bible for the next two hours. Mm. Because the Bible says that you are a piece of Christ, word of all men. Mm. You are epistles of Christ, bread of all men. Where were ni eh? Barua. You say Barua. Barua. Yes. Where were ni Barua? Ndani yako. Unasoma kama Barua. People should be able to look at you because you have you have become the Bible. What will I say about Kazame? Asababu mekuwa bibilia. In the book of Revelation, in the end of the book. An angel was had a, a small book in his hand. Mm. And somebody has told John, he said that go and get the book from the hand of the angel. And when he went to the angel, the angel gave him the book. He said, take it and eat it. We are reading the Bible instead of eating the Bible. Because you can only become the Bible when you eat the Bible. You are, you are what you eat. When you eat potatoes, or, or white or rice or gideri you become that when you eat the body knows how to separate and take nutrients from what you ate and that's what you become is that true yes so also start to look at the Bible, start to eat the Bible, don't read the Bible, eat the Bible. Now if we talk about eating, do you eat once a day? So you need to what? If you want to really eat the Bible, you need to eat the same way you eat. The end time church is a church that eats the Bible. There is not a church that just reads the Bible to check off the list. Because the angel gave the book to to, to John, and he took the Bible and he took that book and ate it. And then he was told that now go forth and you can now prophesy again to tongues and tribes. We are not speaking the word of the Lord because we are not eating the word of the Lord. Are you still with me? Yes. 